All right, how's everybody doing today? Jonathan from John Floyd Woodworks here with another Cool Tool Monday. I know, it's crazy. Um, this was not what I had intended to do today, but I've gotten a couple questions about this particular tool, so I figured why not? But it also made me kind of stop and think about what constitutes a cool tool. Um, obviously, something innovative, you know, if a, a, a tool has some new technology or functions or safety features, I think that definitely constitutes cool. Um, but I also think that something that is inexpensive, basic, but yet works and gets the job done also probably should constitute a cool tool. And that's what I have to show you today. Um, it is a drill press from Wynn that is definitely no frills, but it works. And if you're just getting started uh, putting your shop together and you're trying to do it on a budget, this might be the perfect drill press to get you started. Um, I've had it in my shop for years and it works just as well as the first day I got it. So uh, let's check it out. Wins eight inch five speed drill press. Bench top drill press and there are no frills about this, the, nothing fancy about this drill press, but it does the job. I've had this in my shop for probably four years or longer. I mean, it's been around for a while, and although at some point I will probably upgrade this drill press, it's always done everything I've asked it to do, so I haven't really felt the need to at this point. And uh, when you consider that you can pick one of these up for under $100, it's a steal. So again, it is an eight inch drill press. It has five speeds. Um, it's a, a belt pulley motor system. This particular model is 4208. It has a really long serial number that I'm not going to read, but model number two, 4208 um, has a one third horsepower motor, induction motor. Um, the chuck is a half inch. You get two inches of travel. The table, obviously I have uh, mounted my own um, table to it, but the actual work table is cast iron and it's six and a half inches by six and a half inches. Tilts left and right 45 degrees, and again, comes in at under 100 bucks. So let me grab the camera, I'll bring y'all in a little closer, and show y'all some features of this particular drill press. We're up in here a little bit closer. Again, this is a, uh, a tool that doesn't have a whole lot of fancy bells and whistles but as I mentioned when it comes to drill pressing it gets it done um, I've used upwards of three inch four, four mister bits on it with some pretty dense wood it's never not drilled through whatever I've tried to drill through tables pretty easy to move you just don't lock it tighter. So, you know, you get X amount of travel. Obviously, you would get a little more if you, if you didn't have a, uh, a secondary base put on it, but that's what I chose to put on mine because the actual table is fairly small. So I just made my own pretty straightforward. Some plywood, made a fence, which is adjustable, stop block, and then a replaceable insert that I can change out after I tear it up. 
All right, I flipped the camera around to show you the other side. From this side, you can see the only other real feature that this drill press has, which is a depth stop, which I've used it before, but it's not easy to use. Um, it's the one negative about this drill press, but I mean, at, again, at sub $100, what are you gonna do? But it does have one. I don't know how much I would trust the measurements and, you know, moving one screw and moving the other screw and then locking those screws without that position moving is tricky and takes some time. But if you do wanna set it to a certain depth, you can do that. It's just, it, it's finicky, um, but it is there but I would use something else to measure. I don't know how much I would trust that or this scale. All right, so there it is. The Win 42088 inch bench top drill press. Um, I tried to make this one quick. Again, there's not a lot of features or things to talk about with this particular tool, but I do think it's a cool tool. Um, it, it, it's inexpensive, but it is actually reasonably well built. And like, like I said, it's been in here for several years and has not stopped or let me down at all. Um, so if, again, if you're looking to get your small shop going and you need a drill press, but you're not ready to spend hundreds or thousands of dollars on one, under a hundred bucks, you can grab you one of these online and there will be a link uh, to where you can read more about it and pick yourself up one if that's uh, what you would like to do. Um, if you have any questions, if I've missed something when it comes to this particular drill press, leave it in the comments. I'll be glad to answer any additional questions. Um, the little table I made for it was just something I threw together. But if somebody's curious about that, I'd be glad to answer questions about that too. And um, until next time, please like and subscribe if you're so inclined. I would appreciate that. And uh, everybody stay safe out there. And I appreciate y'all for watching. It's Jonathan from John Floyd Woodworks. Bye.